photographers say you can't have too many camera bags. And that's probably true, considering that when I switched from a DSLR to a mirrorless system, I decided to get myself a new camera bag that would fit better with the style of camera and the overall look and portability of the system that I desired. So I looked around. Uh, most of all, I didn't want to get a bag that screamed Look at me, I'm a camera bag. I wanted something more discreet and let's admit it, kind of elegant. So in the end I settled this model here. This is the Brixton made by Ona. Uh, this is the canvas version. Uh, Ona makes uh, the Brixton in two versions. One is the canvas uh, which comes in three colors. This is the tan version and they also make a leather version in two colors, which is much more expensive and elegant, but it's beautiful, but probably too expensive and uh, nice looking for me. Uh, this one is just perfect. It's a very sturdy camera bag, uh, waterproof, uh, not lightweight. Uh, it's quite heavy as bags go, but it's very well padded in the inside. Uh, as you can see, it has all the usual movable compartments with velcro, lots of padding and it's got a uh, main section with a pocket for a small laptop or an iPad, two pockets in the front, uh, another pocket here in the bag, in the back for maybe documents, maps, papers, uh, for canvas but it's got some nice leather uh, details like those straps here, nice uh, brass buckles. Well, it's a messenger style bag with a strap and there's leather here on the on the bed. I find it very uh, nice to carry around for a whole day, um, resting across my shoulder. Um, if you stay with me in the rest of the video, I will show you how I normally fill this bag with different kinds of equipment, depending on the type of shoot I'm doing on a specific day. So I wanted to show you what I would normally put inside my Brixton if I wanted to go shooting some uh, cityscapes in a city. Maybe do some long exposures along the river, some night shoots where I would need filters, a tripod and a few lenses. And I would want to carry it all very conveniently in a very small, lightweight and obtrusive package. So, Let's open the bag and see what we have here. Uh, first of all, maybe a city guide. Who knows? What might come handy to find some spots to shoot. And what else do we have in this bag? Uh, we have a compass. Very handy. You want to know maybe direction that the sun is rising or setting that day. Uh, we have some indispensable uh, extra batteries for the camera, you don't want to be without power, and extra memory cards. In this other pocket we have a lens cleaning cloth and some filters. Uh, neutral density ones, 10 stop one for shooting very long exposures, graduated neutral density filter, and the filter holder with its ring. This is a Lee system filter holder. That's it. Uh, let's switch to the main compartment, which holds a tripod. This is a Gitzel Traveler tripod. Uh, very small, lightweight, falls down to almost nothing and fits perfectly inside the Brixton. Then we have a rocket blower for getting rid of dust. Your, on your sensor. Uh, we have a remote control for doing time lapses, long exposures, all sorts of stuff. 
and our cameras. The Fujifilm X-C2, this one has a 60mm 2.4 macro lens fitted and maybe you want to shoot some street photography, what's best than Fujifilm X-100 lens, just perfect. Also very capable landscape camera, um, of course you want to maybe to shoot some uh, wide angle scenes and in this case I've got the Tokine 1116 which is a very nice Nikon mount lens. Being a Nikon mount lens I need an adapter for it and I'll be normally using my Metabons. Nikon to Fuji adapter and I have one more lens which is a 35mm. You never know. We have in the, this pocket here we have an iPad. You want to keep in touch, uh, share your photos immediately and how do you put your photos on the iPad uh, with an Apple camera connection kit. And finally, in the back pocket, we have some maps. And that's about it. Everything you need for a day of shooting in a city or in the countryside for landscapes, cityscapes, long exposures, everything. The other arrangement of the brick scene I wanted to show you is the one I would use if I wanted to go out and do some location portrait shooting with a model. So what would I fit in my bag? Let's see. Oh, let's start with this pocket here. We have some colored gels for the flash. Uh, we have a very small softbox. You could actually fit a larger softbox in the compartment here if you want it. And I have a small bag with a reflector, white and silver. And in this other pocket, some extra batteries for flashes. A pair of radio triggers for remotely controlling flash. And lens cleaning cloth. And the usual assortment of memory cards, extra batteries for the cameras, and so on. Then, in the main compartment, I would have a very handy, small, double collapsible umbrella. A swivel mount for flash or umbrella to put on top of a light stand or tripod. Um, a grid and of course a flash, small speed light. Then the cameras, of course, my faithful Fuji XE2 with the 60mm lens, which works perfectly as a portrait lens. And for more environmental portraits, I could carry. Uh, X100S with its 35mm equivalent lens and maybe an extra 85-18 lens for portraits. This is a Nikon lens so it needs a usual adapter. And that's it for the, just the pouch. That's it for the main compartment. In the pocket here I would probably fit a small laptop like a 13-inch MacBook Air. What I would not be able to fit inside here is a light stand. I would normally use uh, this uh, lightweight, small Manfrotto light stand. It's just long enough not to fit in here, but it's very easy to carry in your hand or in a satchel. And also maybe uh, another larger reflector you could carry this in your in your hands or uh, attach it somewhere and carry it around very easily. So that, that's all you need for uh, for an all-location shoot. Nothing more. One light setup, very easy to use, very easy to set up and carry around. <laughs>